Today on Forkish Habits, we are going to make loaded baked cauliflower. If you love loaded baked potatoes or baked potato skins, you may just love this cauliflower dish that you can enjoy as a delicious lunch. So today, the ingredients that we're going to need is cauliflower. We're going to need some sour cream and some chives, or you could use green onion. You of course can change what you put on your loaded baked on your loaded cauliflower according to what you've normally liked on a loaded baked potato. We're also going to use cheese. I have selected a horseradish cheddar here that turns this from being yummy to being amazing. But you are welcome to use whatever kind of cheese you enjoy. We also have bacon. So if you'll notice, our bacon here has no sugar. This is a no sugar bacon. It is BLE compliant. Now you can substitute in this recipe. You do not have to put on um, bacon or chives or green onion or, or even a sour cream according to what you like. You will want to have 9.5 ounces of fresh cauliflower measured on your scale. We want to go with fresh and not frozen because we'd like this cauliflower to keep kind of a crispiness as it roasts. So we're going to transfer over our cauliflower onto our, um, our baking sheet. Woo! Yep, and they wanna get on there really bad, don't they? I have put a sill pat down on my baking sheet. I love, love, love these. Sill pats are amazing. They're so easy to use because you don't have to oil. You don't have to put parchment paper or foil Food will clean off of this really easily. I will link it down below. If you haven't come across sill pats before, you can um, go and purchase for yourself. Love them. So uh, we're gonna put our cauliflower here on our tray, but we don't want it to look like this. A mound of cauliflower is actually gonna steam instead of roast. So when we want to roast vegetables in the oven, we want to give them space in between their partners so they actually roast crispier and not just steam kind of soft and soggy. So we're going to spread our cauliflower out. And this guy's looking a little big. If you get to that, you can just break them up. I like the cauliflower in this recipe to be a little bit um, smaller. Not little teeny tinies like rice cauliflower, but I don't want them to stay in their big chunked flowerettes. So now we're gonna season it. You can um, use whatever seasonings you'd like. What I tend to enjoy is some salt, some pepper, and some garlic powder. So just season it to your liking. This is gonna be one serving of weight loss BLE lunch. So now that we have our seasonings on and our oven is preheated to 375 degrees, we are ready to roast these cauli this cauliflower. So while your cauliflower is baking in the oven, you're gonna slice up your one slice of bacon into small pieces so that we can fry it up and have it be little crispies that you're gonna to add to the top of your loaded baked cauliflower. All right, our, our scale with our plate on it is zeroed out and we're gonna double check how much that cauliflower weighs now that it has been roasted. Five and seven eighths. So we are ooh, just a smidgen under six. Not bad for eyeballing at 2.5. Okay, we are gonna put it here. We've piled up our, our cauliflower in a pile. 
In the beginning when we were roasting, we wanted it spread, but now we're gonna get our cheese on to melt. So we have one ounce of grated cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. I used a yummy horseradish. If you, this is half of a protein because your bacon is your other half of a protein. If you don't wish to use bacon, one of your options is to do two ounces of cheese as your full protein and make this a cheesier dish. But so we're gonna spread our cheese out over our cauliflower. We wanna get all of our little nuggets of cheese because just like everything in Brightline eating, you have been weighed and measured and we wanna be able to enjoy you. So we put our cheese on. If you're using bacon, you wanna put your bacon on at this point. Spreading it around. So we're gonna have lots of yummy bites here. All of our bacon on. And this is gonna go back in the oven for just a couple minutes to melt that cheese. Melty, bubbly cheese goodness. Okay, so now we're ready for our last finishing touches before we eat this. So we need sour cream. Sour cream is going to be our fat in this lunch, so we want one ounce of sour cream to be our full fat. Right, there we are one ounce of sour cream and our last touch is to add our chives these were fresh chives that I found at the store and just chopped up fine you could always use dried chives if you wanted to or if you're not a fan of chives you can use green onion or you can leave it off altogether it is an herb it's a condiment so it's not counting against you so we are going to sprinkle our yummy delicious chives. So we have our beautiful lunch here and all we have to add to this is six ounces of our fruit and yummy delicious. Hmm, where's my fork? So until next time when we get to see you on Forkish Habits for our next sexy, bright line eating, delicious recipe, please, Subscribe down below, hit the notification bell if you would like to receive more Brightline Eating compliant recipes like this. And please like it, let me know that you're enjoying it. And we'll see you next time on Forkish Habits. Who needs a baked potato when you have loaded baked cauliflower? Mm, 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 mm. That's sexy.